Happy afternoon. I posted a video on my business Facebook page um, a few hours ago on um, yeah, Shemaya about essential oil, an essential oil blend that I wanted to put together to kind of work with the day. <laughs> now, and then I said that I was going to post, I was going to do another video clip a little bit later, which is now. Uh, however, when I went to put the essential oils in the diffuser, I remembered that yesterday my diffuser was running really slowly. The, the mist wasn't coming up as high as it normally does. So I decided I'd better uh, clean it out with a little white vinegar, like maybe a teaspoon of white vinegar and a half a cup of water and then diffuse that for an hour. And then, as my creative energies tend to do, I got involved in some of that creative uh, jazz. And now, and then I decided, and then I ate my breakfast, right? That I, that was all in the other video. So now I have some things put together and I'm going to do this. So I have my bergamot here and I think I'm going to put in, we'll see. I'm feeling like we want maybe one, two, three, four, four of those apparently. Four of the bergamot and the black spruce will do three. So, although you know what, I think I'm getting really low on this bottle. So here's what we do. I can see that there's still some in there. So I'm going to pop off this reducer with my fingers, get black spruce all over me. And then carefully do drops so I don't pour the whole rest of the bottle in there. One, two, three. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this back in. The reducer, because if an essential oil is exposed to oxygen for too long, then it loses its, no, it loses some of its efficacy. So I don't want that. So the lid's back on, screwed on tight. Also keep it out of sunlight. Now I've got all this black spruce on my fingertips, so rub that on some pulse points. Oh, I love it. It's like being out in the woods. And then two drops of juniper berry. And let's see, do I not? Okay, there should, so I should get something out of this one. Here we go, one, two, okay. Now let's pop the top on, turn it on. And there we go. Oh, it's nice. Oh, that's a good blend. Okay, I'm gonna have to give that a name. It is refreshing and light and uh, enthusiastic without being too energetic. I feel like I'm describing a wine. Um, yeah, that's really good. So it was three drops of, four drops of bergamot, three drops of black spruce, and two drops of juniper berry. So I have a couple of books here. Um, the Essential Life, which is really, really great. It, it has Oh, gosh, the essential oils with their top uses and some of their main constituents and their properties and all of that. So I was curious. I picked up this, you know, those oils came to mind when I was thinking about my day, which involved, um, for the sake of this video, um, um, <laughs> i got to think what it was. It was, I have two friends having birthdays, so that it was celebratory. And then uh, creative stuff that I wanted to do, uh, which involves um, graphics and a lot of uh, thinking and creating um, creating story. And then my Christmas tree. Don't know if I'm going to get to the Christmas tree today. That can always happen tomorrow. So anyway, the bergamot. I wanted to see. Well, okay, why did why did that come up for me? And it it says you know bergamot um, encourages feelings of being uplifted and assured and restored. It's good for stress, 
um, helpful with stress. Uh, what else? That might be... Uh, yeah, mainly, mainly that. So I'm thinking, okay, I have a lot that I want to get done today. So even if it's a lot of good stuff, it can still create stress in your being. What else? <clears throat> the black spruce, it produces, helps produce feelings of being, feeling grounded and um, it's an enduring scent and has enduring qualities to it. That's good. It has to do with uh, overstriving, adrenal nervous exhaustion and fatigue, uh, maybe some melancholy. It is, oh, helpful for so many things. This is crazy. Back pain due to poor circulation and stress. Um, potentially feeling disconnected. What else do we have in here? Stress-related skin outbreaks, self-acceptance, la, 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 all the things, all the things, insatiable, oh no, that's not one for me. Okay, so that's great. And then what was the other one? Oh yeah, juniper berry. Let's take a look. Let me put the book down so I can take a look here. Juniper berry, um, revitalizing. You know, so it all feels to me like it is how I how it smelled to me that it's it's revitalizing, it's energizing, it's encouraging, and and helping you get through the things that you want to do. It's also revitalizing and energizing, which would have to do with the celebratory factor of my my friend's birthdays and just you know feeling the feels for them and and that and hoping that their days are going splendidly. Um, this is also a good oil for stress. So we've got a lot of stress busters going on here. Um, juniper berry can help with um, viruses, bacteria issues. Uh, la la la. So now you need to know too that essential oils besides that or how they work has to do partially with um, they're chemical constituents, just like any living thing. It has chemical constituents. That's what makes it what it is. And even though some things are similar, like bergamot is actually a citrus product, and it's going to be different from a wild orange or lemon, uh, mandarin, and that type of thing. It may have a lot of similar chemical constituents and properties, well, chemi chemical constituents that make up the properties that it has, but they're in uh, different percentages, right? Different ratios, and so it's going to tweak them just a little bit. So what else did I want to say about that? Um, oh, regarding, emo regarding emotions, that it's important to remember too that you can, you can use an essential oil uh, um, aromatically, like I'm doing with the diffuser here, topically, which you saw me put the the uh, black spruce on my pulse points on my right wrist. And you can also, uh, some of doTERRA's essential oils you can also ingest. They are cer certified pure therapeutic grades, so they're great for all the things. And, and you can use them for a variety of reasons. I use them to reduce the toxins that are in my household. Like I make most of my, not most, I make a lot of my cleaning products. Like, definitely my my surface cleaners and my window cleaners and what else do I make with them um, well clearly a variety uh, clearly clearly for me a variety of blends to uh, from for myself for the diffuser to put on topically etc etc and also in, in a veggie capsule to uh, ingest Cleaning products, cleaning products. Oh, I make uh, my own hand sanitizer. I guess I can't technically call it that since it doesn't have alcohol, so hand cleanser. And shampoo, hand wash. So I, I stay busy. <laughs> um, but when we, when we want to talk about uh, the emotional aspect of how an, an essential oil works, it's going to, because of of its olfactory capabilities when you when you breathe it in it goes right into your limbic system which 
is like the the driver of the bus, so to speak, and controlling where things are going. So it's a, a really important aspect. However, it's not going to do all the work for you, especially regarding emotional issues, which in my belief is at the root cause of all of our physical ailments. That it's, we have the, the physical symptoms to tell us, or to, to try to tell us, if, if only we would listen, what is going on in the deeper recesses of our being that has created those physical symptoms. So for me, it's like looking at the why of the why of the why is this going on. And at the bottom of it can be a mindset and a, a conditioned thinking. And when you use a, an essential oil to uh, facilitate the enrichment, the betterment, the positivity, so to speak, of your emotional well-being, you got to do the work too. The essential oil is going to facilitate that. It's going to tell your body that this is what she's trying to do. Let's give her all the help that we can. You know, it's, it's, it's just so much easier. You're going to get a lot faster results when you put in, in, in your own uh, work. So, um, yeah, I'm going to cut it off. I could go on and on about all of that. And I will <laughs> later, but not right now. I wanted to just address some of the emotional aspects of the oils in this blend. So bergamot, it's, it's, it's one word, it's key word is self-acceptance. And so it can be self-acceptance that I'm picking up on a, you know, that I'm picking up on my friends whose birthdays are today. And this is also like a, a an aspect of a prayer that's going out, out for them, perhaps. Maybe it's just for myself, also viable. So it's the positive properties of bergamot besides self-acceptance are being optimistic, confident, hopeful, lovable, and feeling good enough, right? Who doesn't wanna breathe bergamot in all day long? Black spruce. Black spruce. Let's see. There we go. Has to do with stability, feeling like life is stable. It's grounding. Um, so while this is energizing and uplifting, I'm not going to go off there and not be able to function properly, right? So its positive properties also include um, being resolute, grounded, enduring, balanced. Balance is good. Uh, you know, and I find black spruce to be like a, a happy oil uh, when I smell it. And in maybe a large aspect of that is because I love being out in, in the woods, especially the, the, the fragrant woods. And it, it definitely puts me in my happy place. So I love it for that. Um, this book that I'm looking at right now, <clears throat> excuse me, says that it's also an ally in dealing with fear especially subconscious generational fears. Oh my goodness, there's a story to tell. So there's lots and lots of, of good ways to use this. So uh, to facilitate your own healing and all these different aspects, I mean, goodness. So Juniper Berry has also to do with assisting those who fear the dark or unknown aspects of themselves. So it's definitely a journey here that's going on that while I am doing these things that um, I'm overcoming uh, certain fears. Like, okay, so doing this video is part of that creative process for today. Doing this video has an aspect of fear to it, um, clearly. <laughs> to anybody that doesn't do this every day, clearly. And, 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 and for one who has not lived their life in a more gregarious uh, fashion, you know, maybe that's a, a burgeoning thing, but at the moment, um, 
So yeah, working with unrelieved uh, fears and issues. Some of its uh, positive properties have to do with feeling protected, uh, peaceful dreaming, uh, courageous, and being self-aware. So uh, I think the, the blends that I picked mainly have to do with a feeling of, of creativity, that aspect of it. Um, which I can see in my friends in the cel celebrating, you know, there was also creating some posts and, and greetings for them for their birthday wishes. And the, the Christmas tree, uh, it was a creative process putting it up. And so with respect, I will take it down. And in, in my world, it, it, it's respect for this cute little tree. So I'll have to have, find some, I will intend to find a purpose for my now finished Christmas tree. So thank you for listening all the way through. And if you are interested in picking up some of these lovely doTERRA essential oils, uh, give me, send me a little message. Uh, you can find me through Shamaya on Facebook, Instagram. My website is www.shamaya.net. And I'm Charlotte. Thank you.